A historic impeachment on Capitol Hill. House Republicans voted last month, last night rather, to impeach Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas over his handling of the border crisis. He's the first cabinet member to be impeached since 1876. But Democrats say Republicans failed to present any clear evidence of wrongdoing. The matter now goes to the Senate. Nancy Cordes is at the White House with more on all of this. Nancy, good morning. Good morning, Anne-Marie. You know, we thought that the Democratic-led Senate would just, uh, you know, sweep this under the rug once it passed so narrowly in the House. But late last night, uh, Senate Democratic leaders announced that they would actually be holding an impeachment trial later this month, not because they believe that Mayorkas did anything wrong, but because they believe that it'll expose the fact that even Senate Republicans, many of them, believe that this impeachment was not warranted. The yeas are 214 and the nays are 213. The resolution is adopted. By the slimmest of margins, House Republicans voted to impeach Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas after narrowly failing last week. Finally, we've held Alejandro Mayorkas accountable. According to their articles of impeachment, the high crimes and misdemeanors include a willful and systemic refusal to comply with border law after a record 2.4 million migrants were apprehended at the southern border last fiscal year. In a statement after the vote, President Biden called Mayorkas an honorable public servant and warned history will not look kindly on House Republicans for their blatant act of unconstitutional partisanship. Many of the shortcomings Republicans complain about are because they won't give him additional uh, legislation uh, to better secure the border. At the White House Tuesday, Mr. Biden argued the House should be spending its time passing an aid package for Ukraine and Israel that the Senate approved Monday morning. You're going to stand with Ukraine? You're going to stand with Putin? Will we stand with America or with Trump? And he leveled harsh criticism at his Republican opponent, Donald Trump. I would encourage them to do whatever the hell they want. After Trump appeared to side with Russia this weekend over NATO allies. Can you imagine a former president of the United States saying that? For God's sake, it's dumb, it's shameful, it's dangerous, it's un-American. Back now to Mayorkas. There is no chance that he will lose his job because uh, there is virtually no chance that he'll be convicted by the democratically led Senate. So why did House Republicans do this? Well, in part, it's because they have been promising their base that they would do this since they won back the majority more than a year ago. And their other impeachment effort, uh, that is the impeachment effort involving President Biden himself, has stalled. So I know in impeachment, high crimes and misdemeanors, but what is sort of their central argument against Mayorkas? What illegal behavior are they suggesting that he's done? And what do Democrats say is wrong with their argument? So Republicans say that he has failed to secure the border, that there are tools available to him that he simply has refused to use, and that he lied to Congress when he said early on that the border was secure. Democrats argue uh, that he is doing everything that the job calls for, uh, but that there has been this historic surge in migration from South and Central America over the past year, uh, and that that's the reason that they worked so hard on a democratic, uh, and a bipartisan rather, uh, deal to strengthen border laws so that Mallorcas would have more tools with which to secure the border. What will be so interesting, Anne-Marie, when this gets to the Senate, is that there are Senate Republicans who have said point blank that they don't think that this sets a good precedent, that they mm. don't think that the evidence exists. And now uh, they could potentially be forced to take a vote where they either have to uh, break with House Republicans in a very public way or they have to vote for an impeachment conviction when they're on record in the past saying they don't agree with it. Oh, very interesting. Nancy, thank you very much. You're welcome.